you'll notice we have a 3DCS tab. To load the model, you're going to open your parts just as you would for any other Creo uh, designer manufacturing uh, that you might be doing. So I have this smartphone model that we're going to be using for our demonstration today. Um, so to open the model, you just load the parts in and then to start using 3DCS, we're going to use this update model to synchronize the 3DCS software with the Creo software. Um, we're going to use a little bit of a simplified version of this smartphone. So we're using about 10 parts uh, just to keep things basic for the demonstration. And then as we're fully integrated into Creo, uh, we save our data, the 3 VCS data that you'll see in our model navigator here at the top level of your assembly. So in this case, it's going to be the smartphone assembly, not assembly. So that means you don't have to manage your 3DCS data separately from your part and assembly files. Everything's going to be saved at this top level. So if you're using Windchill, when you save your 3DCS model, it's just going to save as you would any other um, parts or design that you're doing. So you don't have to worry about keeping track of two separate uh, entities. It's just all saved in this top level.